morning honorable members good morning chair uh, how are you my leader i'm good how are you chairperson very well thanks northwest is keeping you busy there it's hectic <laughs> i must not lie <laughs> yeah. i must not Le <laughs> <laughs> Lega Sasela Gilly Fule and Abaragin, Baragi Pamkati, Abaragima. The Fule as Manjamat. The Fela Covid. Lona as Manjaman, Lona as Manjaman. Like your right, you're right, Mati, like your right. The Balila, Baba, all right. So uh, I've only received one apology today from the minister. She is scheduled to brief the South African Veterinary Council annual Indaba at the same time. That's the only apology that I have, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yamza. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, members. Good morning, colleagues. I've got an apologies. My apologies, the same as Albertina's Chair. Thank you. I when Mosha Mamkaka when Amam Yams, I was waiting uh, for the proper salutations as Gamam Kakas, and now I didn't uh, salute her proper. Uh, honorable Good members. Chair. No, we'll fix that uh, another time. Uh, I'll have these proper salutations. 
Honorable members, uh, officials of the department, I see our acting DG Ndati Ramasodi is also on the platform, the officials of the department, uh, our uh, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen and comrades and friends, good morning, Hue More, Morelang. Molweni Tobela. We begin, honorable members, with greetings of peace. And let me, as we start today's proceedings on this month of Heritage uh, Month, uh, afford our uh, condolences to the family Recording of in progress. Uh, the former member of parliament and deputy minister of defense and military veterans, the honorable KB Mapatu. Let us honorable members take a moment of silence and bow our heads in his honor. Thank you, honorable members. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family, in particular Ntate Muruti Emapatswe and the entire family, friends and colleagues who are ill or recovering from COVID. We meet honorable members on this morning to consider amendments to the sectional titles amendments bill, this uh, A list, which uh, we are to consider in our round of engagements. We will today uh, be assisted by the legal advisor who will lead us in the proceedings. We engage uh, with this legislation, honorable members, on set of heritage mind, month, property title, as well as uh, land are intrinsically part of what defines our heritage. In fact, it may be even argued that it is at the core of what defines our heritage. Our engagement with colonial occupation and apartheid discrimination is best symbolized by our struggle for land, property, and title. The painful memories, legacy, and trauma of the South African Native Land Act of 1913 and the Heinous Group Areas Act of 1950 and our history of resistance today constitutes an intrinsic part of our identity and defines our heritage. This process of redefining heritage, memory and the journey that we have shaped, traversed and grappled with over the past 27 years will define what will leave for prosperity as our common heritage. His Excellency President Nelson Kholitha Thamande realized the power of defining and redefining what constitutes heritage. Equally, we have the responsibility of shaping the present to ensure that we contribute to nation building, national reconciliation and social cohesion as the foundation stones for what we claim to be our collective heritage. Let this heritage month be defined as much by what we have inherited in terms of property, title and land as it is defined by our collective will as a nation to advance a notion of heritage 
that truly celebrates the fact that South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white, and I dare say every shade in between. We are reminded, honorable members, that good lawmaking, after all, is about the ability to craft effective solutions and begin effective in this context is to deal with a provision of law that has become superfluous as a consequence of the amendments that we have made. Accordingly, the committee needs to look into this uh, A-list uh, of uh, the section titles amendment bill. And as I alluded earlier, honorable members, the uh, legal advisor will take us through uh, the amendments that we effected and the impact that they have on the sectional titles act. We therefore open the floor, honorable members, so that uh, we may uh, begin with today's proceedings. Let me also uh, acknowledge uh, the departure of our colleague and comrade, uh, the Honorable Mema Shati, who has been given other duties to be the whip in uh, the Portfolio Committee of uh, Basic Education and uh, she will now be uh, championing and playing a role in that portfolio committee. Even though that it may be said, uh, losing her to our committee, but it is beautiful to always witness one's growth and development. And we wish her well in her uh, further endeavors and wherever she may be deployed within this August house. Let me therefore, honorable members, invite the legal advisor to take us through uh, the A-list. Um, good morning, Chairperson and to the committee. Um, if Pumla could just give me sharing rights so I could share this, my screen. Our secretariat, Mamo Isaac, is asking to enable her to share the A list. Manyamza, Amkakas, can you assist uh, Umamu Isaac to be able to share the document? She is on the platform. Oh, Thank you. <clears throat> there we go, Chair. Thank you. Suen. So you may proceed, Mamo Isaac. Thank you, Chair. 
uh, Chairperson, um, if the committee can confirm with me that you see two screens, one with the A-list and one with the Beeble. We see the one uh, with uh, the Beeble from what I can see on my side. Yes, we now see two screens. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. Uh, sorry about the delay. Um, Chairperson, as you're aware, in the, in the last meeting, the committee had um, agreed to various amendments and we were requested to capture that in the A-list. So on my left, I have the A-list and to assist the committee, I've also projected the bill as introduced so we could see the amendment against the bill. So to start, this is the amendments, proposed amendments to the sectional titles amendment bill as proposed by the Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development Committee of the National Assembly. Um, these Mamo are Isaac. Yes, Chairperson. My apologies. Can I request uh, that you switch on your video as we are live uh, on TV as well as on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube as well. And I would like to request every speaker that comes on the platform to switch on uh, their videos for the purposes of uh, our media as well as our social media that is following the proceedings of the committee. Thank you. You may proceed, Mamu Isaac. Thank you, Chairperson. So the list of amendments are as follows, as proposed by the committee. Uh, in clause one, um, the first amendment was basically at the at the uh, end of 2011 to add uh, the close bracket. So that was made basically a technical amendment. And as you can see, uh, as the A list works, you look at the page number and the line numbers. So on page three, in line two. Uh, we've removed the 2011 and we've now inserted 2011 close brackets. So person, the next clause that we looked at was clause three. And this clause was agreed that it would be rejected by the committee. Um, the reason being there were various, there was public comments that said that this was not necessary uh, as the previous or the current law covers, covers what is intended in the section, the department agreed with that and the committee accepted that proposal and the section clause three will be rejected. The next amendments proposed were in clause 16, I'm just going down to clause 16. And there were a number of amendments in this clause. Um, so basically what, what the committee had uh, agreed to from after considering the public submissions and the department submissions was that they would not increase the number of members in the regulation board and um, the, and there were consequential amendments as a result of a decision to also remove the two people with um, a knowledge of sectional uh, titles from the act. So the committee made various amendments and these are as follows. So in clause 16, uh, we had to renumber it and therefore we've, in, we, we've replaced it with this clause. So in clause on page nine from line four to omit clause 16 and to substitute it with the following clause. Uh, clause 16, section 54 of the principal acts is hereby amended and the new A will read by the substitution in subsection 2C for paragraph Roman one of the following sub paragraph. Roman one, and then the word a conveyancer will be removed as you'll read two conveyances nominated by the, and the, these words executive council of the law society of the Republic of will be removed as you'll now read South Africa, African, South African legal practice council. So that will be the new wording. The committee also agreed to the amendment by the deletion in subsection 2C of paragraph Roman five. Now I will just alert the committee that this is an amendment that was not in the bill and it is an amendment 
to the Act. So the committee in the Act, it provides that um, two persons having special knowledge of sectional title development schemes. And as I indicated earlier, the committee after public submissions um, decided to remove this from the Act uh, because sectional title development schemes are now covered by a specific legislation. So this was no longer necessary. So that amendment is now inserted here. And um, as Pumla will later explain, because it is not in the bill as it was introduced, the committee will be required to obtain permission from the House to make this amendment. Uh, it's more of um, just going and writing a report. Um, there will be nothing um, uh, controversial or anything about this amendment. It is from public submissions, but we just need to follow the correct process to make sure we can uh, make a further amendment to the Act. The next amendment is to clause C by the insertion in subsection 2C of the word and at the end of paragraph a six, Roman six at the addition of the following subparagraph. An officer occupying an office mentioned in section 21B of the Deeds Registries Act, alternatively an officer contemplated in section 21C of that, the said act. So that is basically what was written in the bill, but we've just removed um, this part of the, of the clause. And then your clause, subclause D, remains the same as it was in the bill. It is by the insertion after subsection nine of the following subsection. And nine capital A, the provision of subsection six, seven, eight, and nine are with the necessary changes applicable to the appointment of an alternate member. So that is your A list for clause 16, the new, the new proposed clause 16. The next amendment was to clause 18, and this dealt with um, existing rights to transfer um, exclusive use ownership. And there were comments about this, um, and the department agreed to that, uh, feeling that the section was no longer necessary. The committee accepted that recommendation, and therefore this clause 18 will no longer be, uh, was rejected by the committee and will, when adopted, no longer be in the Bible. So those were the amendments to the clauses. And then the last amendment was to the long title. And um, you will see I've highlighted those portions that we have removed. We removed those words dealing with um, Spatial Planning and Land Use Management Act and those related to the, um, sorry, the transitional provisions, they just do this. To the transitional provisions, so the new long title will read, on page two to omit long title of the bill and substitute to amend the sectional titles act 1986 so as to amend certain definitions to provide for the developer to answer questions put to the developer by the agents of the leases to further provide for amendments amendment to sectional uh, plans in respect of exclusive use areas to further provide for the amendment and cancellation of sectional plans upon an order of the court, to provide for the noting of a title deed in respect of the lapsing of a reservation in terms of section 25, to provide for a lease of part of a common property with the content of the holders of registered real rights, to amend the provisions relating to the alienation of common property, to further provide for the cancellation of mortgage sections and mortgage exclusive use areas, to also provide for a developer to submit a plan for subdivision or consolidation to the Surveyor General um, to, for approval to subdivide and to cons consolidate and to extend a section, to extend the registration of subdivision of a section, the cons consolidation of sections and the extension of sections to a developer, to provide for the filing of replacement documents in respect of a lost or destroyed documentation to amend the provisions relating to the extension of a scheme, to amend the provisions relating to participation quotas of sections, to reg regulate the membership of sexual title regulation board and to provide for matters connected therewith. So Chairperson, those were the committee amendments that we have captured in the ALIS as agreed to in the previous meeting. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, May Suen Isaac for taking us through the A-list. Honorable members, 
There's uh, the A list as presented uh, by our parliamentary legal advisor, uh, which includes uh, all the amendments uh, that uh, we effected on uh, the other sections, uh, as well as uh, the uh, amendment uh, on uh, the uh, areas that affected the act. We will therefore now uh, move in order to consider and adopt the A list. And as you heard uh, from Mayor Isaac, we will also need to agree to request uh, for permission to, uh, uh, to the NA to amend uh, the other sections as presented by her. I therefore uh, ask uh, to the honorable members if we have a mover on uh, the adoption of the A list as a true reflection of the meeting we held. Mayor Marshall. Good morning, Chairperson, and good morning to all. I stand to move for the adoption of A list. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Marshall. Can we have a second, our honorable members? I don't see a show of hands. Mayor Marshall, you may drop uh, your hand. Honorable Tabe. Thanks, Chairperson. I second the move to adopt the A list as presented, including the request for permission from NA on those sections alluded to be amended. Thanks. Thank you, Honorable Tabe. Uh, for seconding the adoption of the A-list. Honorable members, we will now uh, make a request from the National Assembly in order for us to be able to uh, amend the sections that were presented by the legal advisor uh, that uh, uh, impact on the act. Uh, we will therefore request that uh, the uh, Secretariat uh, writes uh, to the House in order to seek uh, permission uh, for us to effect that. Let me Therefore, honorable members, uh, read out uh, the interim report on the Portfolio Committee uh, on Agricultural and Reform and Rural Development on the national, on the sectional titles amendment bill uh, dated the 3rd of September, 2020. The Portfolio Committee on Agriculture and Reform and Rural Development uh, have been considered uh, the sectional titles amendment bill, uh, B31-2020, National Assembly Section 76, classified by the Joint Tagging Mechanism as a Section 76 bill, and referred to it reports as follows. The sectional titles amendment bill, B31-2020, the bill was introduced to the National Assembly on the 2nd of November, 2020. The bill therefore seeks to amend certain provisions of the sectional titles act 1986, Act number 95 of 1996, the principal act. The committee is currently deliberating the bill and intends to finalize its report 
in compliance with Assembly Rule 288. Given the input from the members of the public and insights from further deliberations, the committee has realized that it is necessary to amend provisions of the principal act, which were not included in the bill as introduced. The National Assembly Rule 286, uh, subsection four, clause C provides that committee may if it is considering a bill that amends provisions of the legislation, seek permission of the assembly to inquire into amending other provisions that, of that legislation. Accordingly, the committee requests permission to amend other sections in the Sectional Titles Act 1986 Act number 95 of 1986, other than what is amended through the bill as introduced. It specifically seeks permission to amend section 54, subsection 2C of the principal act in order to remove a requirement for the sectional titles regulation board to include two persons having special knowledge of sectional titles development scheme. This requirement is no longer necessary as the sectional titles scheme management act 2011 act number eight of 2011 now regulates and manages sectional titles schemes. The recommendation of the committee is as follows. In terms of assembly rule, section two, uh, in terms of assembly rule 286, section 4C, the committee recommends that the National Assembly grants permission to amend other sections of the principal act. Honorable members, we will therefore request the, the secretariat to send a, a request on behalf of the committee to the house so that uh, we can have an opportunity of amending the act. With that uh, said, honorable members, concludes our work in terms of uh, the A list of the sectional titles amendment bill. We will now move to further business of the committee, that being our minutes of the 7th of September. Sorry, Chair. Yes, yes, sir. Can we get a mover, Chair, and a seconder for the adoption of the interim report? Thank you. Okay. Chair. Okay. No, thank you. Metape uh, at uh, attempted uh, shooting two birds with one stone, but let us uh, do that then. Honorable uh, members, can we therefore, having read the interim report, have a mover for the adoption of uh, the interim report? Metape? Chair, I move for the adoption of the interim report as read. Thank you, Honorable Tape, for moving for the adoption of the interim report as uh, been read. Can we have a seconder, Honorable Members? Honorable Tapa? 
Chair, I second the move. Thank you, Honourable, Honourable Papa, for seconding the adoption of the interim report. That, Honourable Members, concludes therefore our work uh, on that. We will therefore move, uh, Honourable Members, to adopting uh, our minutes. Can I request the Secretariat to put up the minutes? Minutes of the 17th of August, 2021. Thank you to the Secretariat for flighting the uh, minutes, page one. Memasho and Tate uh, Tapa, please mute your microphones. Tapa, please mute your microphone. Thank you. Page two. Want to do that? Mute your microphone, Dr. Kaba. I'm trying to do so. Page three. Uh, I'm starting to do this, not a chair. Page four. Thank you. Can we have honorable members, a mover for the adoption of the minutes uh, of uh, the 17th of August, 2021? Memato. Thank you, honorable chair. Uh, I stand to move for the minutes of the, uh, the 17th of, of August, 2021. As a true reflection of what happened in the meeting. Thank you, Member Shaw moves for the adoption of the minutes of the uh, 17th of August, 2021. Can we have a second, our honorable members? Honorable Ntate Masipa, good morning. Uh, good morning, Chair. Good morning, colleagues. And uh, I move to second uh, the adoption of the minutes as a true reflection. Thank you, Chair. 
Thank you, Ntate Masipa. Moves uh, seconds the adoption of the minutes of the 24th of August, 2021. Any matters arising, honorable members? Page one. Page two. Page three. Page four. Thank you, honorable members. With no matters arising, I take it uh, the minutes of uh, the 17th of August, 2021 have been duly adopted. Thank you. Let us move honorable members to our minutes of the 24th of August, 2021. Page one. Page two. Page three. Page three. Thank you, honorable members. Can I have a mover for the adoption of the minutes uh, of uh, the 24th of August, 2021? Honorable Kappa. Thank you, Chair. I move the adoption of the minutes of the 24th of August as the true and the correct reflection of the records. I thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Kappa. Moves for the adoption of the minutes of the 24th of August, 2021. Uh, can we have a second, our honorable members? I see yeah, the honorable, oh, honorable Priet. I will okay. second the motion to adopt the minutes. 
Hoe gaan dit, honorable breed? Goed en self, voorzitter. Ek is goed, dankie. Uh, honorable breed, uh, seconds the adoption of the minutes of the 24th of August 2021 as a true reflection of our meeting. Uh, matters, any matters arising, honorable members? I see Honorable Marfati on the platform. Uh, we're delighted to have you with us uh, here, Honorable uh, Memarfati. I was uh, saying earlier that you have been deployed as a whip in the portfolio committee of uh, basic education. And I wondered if you are still with us or if you had moved to the but we are delighted uh, to have you with us. And uh, I said, uh, if we are to lose you, we'll be saddened by your departure, but uh, we are uh, delighted and uh, inspired to see you grow and develop and wish you well uh, in your new deployment. Let us, uh, honorable members, uh, look to any matters arising. Page one. Page two. Page three. Thank you, honorable members. With no matters arising, uh, the minutes of the 24th uh, of August 2021 have been duly adopted. Let me, honorable members, as uh, before we conclude, uh, draw your attention to your parliamentary or your committee program as it has been revised uh, due to uh, having uh, more weeks added to our uh, calendar, but uh, also uh, with uh, uh, going through the A-list today, we have had to change our meeting for the 7th of September, where we would have been uh, uh, adopting uh, the B-bill we have uh, uh, decided as we are requesting permission to amend some sections in uh, the Sectional Titles Act from the National Assembly. While we await their response, we are then on the 7th of September in our next meeting, uh, have requested from the Department of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development to present to the Portfolio Committee uh, the annual report of uh, the communal property associations, that being the CPAs, for the 2019-2020 financial year which will include honorable members, a detailed provincial breakdown of CPAs and their status quo as previously requested by the committee in our deliberations in February. We therefore hope that uh, we could then be able to uh, uh, have that uh, presentation 
uh, put before the committee on Tuesday, the 7th of September, 2021. That concludes honorable members, our uh, program of the day. Let me take uh, this opportunity to wish you a happy Friday and please continue to adhere to COVID-19 regulations. Wear your mask, sanitize and adhere to social distancing. We must continuously as public representatives, honorable members, encourage the citizens of the Republic of South Africa to go particularly at this juncture when uh, the age group has been opened from 18 years above to citizens of South Africa to take their uh, uh, vaccinations. Let us utilize our time in encouraging our families our neighbors, our communities, uh, where we live, to ensure they utilize the opportunity to get their vaccines. We may know very little about the pandemic, but it is always wise to be safe than sorry. I therefore wish to uh, uh, wish to uh, wish you well over the weekend. Please enjoy spring as uh, it has uh, dawned upon us and uh, those that are in the Western Cape utilize the time to travel broadly into the mountains and see the beautiful flowers that are blossoming and uh, uh, do pack your bride packs and enjoy uh, the beautiful sceneries around our country. Send our uh, love to your loved ones and have a wonderful weekend, honorable members. We meet again, God willing, next week, Tuesday on the 7th of September, 2021 on this platform. The meeting stands adjourned. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Bye, bye colleagues. Have a great weekend. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye, colleagues. Bye-bye. Hey, Tate Muntuit. Madu me tate mundo it. Mandela. Leka my leader. Leka tate. Le rituile mano namla tu ba pese gae. No ba pese mo la stila. E o ba dume dise ba. No ba tla dumela, le na ba dumela che. Eh. Fa le bo a modimo ke o. Thank you. Eh, bon, mais ma